Okay, hello, hi, this is Rani Ahmed the video, and in this video, I'm going to uh, explain to you how to uh, fix the uh, direction of uh, and the inversion of the image inside the telescope. What I mean by that is that, for example, let's say I have uh, this, okay? Now, this is the uh, correct standing side, this is upright, okay? Why the telescope, when you uh, want to see this through a telescope, or through the eyepiece of a telescope, you'll see it inverted upside down. Okay, but that uh, you know usually uh, this is what happens physically in any uh, lens system. But uh, you know when you are watching the skies, uh, it has no meaning for you to fix direction. But uh, it has a meaning when you want to see things uh, on the ground. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to show you how the, lens, the lenses will work and how we will uh, fix the uh, orientation and the direction through some adapters, okay? So through an adapter, not some adapters, okay? Uh, so this is the eyepiece I'm going to use and to see uh, the effect of inversion on an eyepiece, okay? So if you see here, this is my telescope, and please uh, look carefully. Uh, this is the world celestron. See how it goes from uh, right, uh, from le left to right, with a normal direction of English uh, lighting. So if I put the eyepiece, you see things upside down, and it goes from uh, the uh, other way around. Okay, so yeah. So you see, this is the word Celestron. Okay. You can see it's opposite sides. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to fix it through something called an image rectifier. I know it's the, the name is a rectifier, but this is the adapter that you should use. Okay. So I think I must turn on the lights lots daylight but it's not really clear so this is the eyepiece okay and sit on it uh, image rectifier yeah uh, it's called it has the words T multi-coded lens roof prism everything system now let me see if I look at it like this, see things are inverted inside it. Okay. Just notice the logo of Celestron. Okay, so it inverts. Now we have the eyepiece also inverts. So you're saying here that uh, this uh, we have this uh, erect. Okay. So uh, we put this. So this will make it like this. Now, if I put this inside it, okay, this means that this, because this inverts this, so the image will be like this again, okay? So if we look inside the Celestron world again, okay, I'm going to take it the other way around because it has a wider field of view, okay? So see the, the world has now is now uh, fixed, okay, corrected. See the uh, logo, okay, same direction, and starts from uh, left uh, instead of right, okay, with a normal uh, with a single lens only, okay. So let's see the effect of this on a telescope. Okay, I will have to pause the video because I want to uh, install the uh, tearing mount, okay, which holds the telescope, uh, the telescope eyepiece. I mean, this is it, okay. So this is for mobile phones because I'm recording from mobile phones, as you see, okay. So uh, you put the uh, telephone inside here, okay and the eyepiece goes here and this will fasten the eyepiece uh, we'll, we'll sit on the eyepiece and 
you know, uh, like uh, pillars, it will uh, bite it. So, um, this is the hole of the, uh, of the telescope. This is where I should put the uh, eyepiece first. Okay. I will have to fasten it first. Come on. Okay. Also, not first. <laughs> and. Okay. I will pause just to put the uh, phone correctly on the eyepiece. I'm going to uh, hang the phone. Now this is just the eyepiece without the image rectifier. Okay, so let me fix the focus. Yeah, anyway, you, you can see that the buildings are upside down. Okay, see? Buildings are upside down. See, this is the sky and... Okay, those are the buildings. Okay, see, this is the ground. Okay, so... And even the palm trees, see, they are upside down too. Okay. Okay. So it's all inverted. Now I'm going to remove the uh, eyepiece, put it out, pull it out from the uh, scene, okay, of the view. And you'll see me now here. This is the image rectifier that you saw earlier, okay. I know because I'm just still don't want to. Sorry, I mean I don't want to remove it, the the eyepiece, the inverting eyepiece. So here I'm going to insert the eyepiece inside the rectifier, and now I'm putting the rectifier again inside the telescope inside the shop of the telescope. So if you can see here with me. Okay, and of course I must focus again. I see now the buildings uh, go correctly. Okay, so if you see, here's the sky and here's you know the roofs of the buildings. Okay, and where are the trees? Yes, so this is the direction of the trees. Okay. I'm trying to give you a better uh, field of view so you can understand the direction. So the buildings are now in their correct direction, going from down to top, okay? You see the trees, okay, go from down to top. So... Yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, okay, uh, this works with uh, my Celestron Astromaster, okay, 130 EQ, now I'm not sure if it will work with other Newtonian uh, telescopes, okay, uh, but uh, I uh, very much recommend it to every uh, one who likes playing with his telescope okay uh, and thanks for watching guys please subscribe to my uh, to my channel channel and uh, please also put likes click the ads uh, to support us uh, you know uh, to type any comment that you want 
By the way, the eyepiece you can get it from uh, AliExpress.com. Uh, uh, look it up. Okay, Angel Eyes uh, Image Rectifier. Thanks for watching.